Derek Oltheus. I'm a fly fishing guide. I live in Orem, Utah and grew up in Big Fork, Montana. I've been fly fishing for 22 years. Yeah, just absolutely love it. I love sight fishing to big fish. I love just the challenge. Anything new and challenging, adventurous in fly fishing is right up my alley. That's what I'm really game for. So I grew up on a lake in northwestern Montana outside of Glacier National Park. And I'd always loved fishing. And when I was about eight years old, my uncle, who was a commercial tire for an Orvis store in Bozeman, had me come down and he just sent me out on the Gallatin one day. And after that introduction to, to fly fishing, just gave away all the rest of my spin fishing gear and never looked back. You know, I just was completely addicted from, from day one. How I got introduced to Loop was through Mark Crapo and through Shane. And we just came up to Idaho and started casting some rods and messing around with some of the products. And to be honest, I was a little bit skeptical at first until I got a rod in my hand and it just sold me right there. From, from then on, once I casted a, a rod, I was a loop guy and just have been a loop guy ever since. I would say that my favorite loop setup is a Loop Opti Coast. It's a seven weight with the X grip and it just works for my style of fishing. It can bomb casts and you know it has the backbone to turn over those big flies. I'm a streamer fishing addict. I absolutely love, love throwing streamers to big predatory fish and that rod just does it in spades. The reel that I've got on it is the Loop Opti Reel. It's just a super tough reel. I've taken that combo all over the world, throughout Canada, Montana, I mean all over the states, into Argentina, into the salt water. It doesn't matter, it just gets it done. I mean, it's just a super durable reel. I'm a sucker for char, anything char, bull trout, lake trout, brook trout, uh, you know, Dolly Varden, anything char. I just think they're the most beautiful fish and they live in beautiful places. The water that they live in is always just crystal clear and they're aggressive. And that's, I can throw a streamer at them and watch them just slam it. It's almost embarrassing to say how much time and effort I'll put in to one fish, but you know, some of these fish I've spotted and they'll hang out in maybe a few hundred yards of river or a certain section of uh, a lake or a small pond or whatever. And you know, I had a fish that was within an hour and a half drive of me and I spent literally every day possible, sometimes as many as four days a week chasing this fish. I'd wake up at 4.30 in the morning and drive over to where this fish was and sometimes I wouldn't even see it. There'd be stretches where, you know, for five or six days in a row on the water, I wouldn't even see this fish. And I knew this fish was there for two, plus years and just chase it and chase it and chase it. I mean, I sat out in the pouring rain for hours at a time, just hoping to catch a glimpse of this thing. And uh, yeah, after all that effort, I finally, finally caught him and it was definitely the fish of a lifetime. It was a 33 inch brown that, you know, it was, it was worth all the effort 